Hi, I'm Jim Shields here in Australia. I'm Flukes Process Tools Product Manager. And I would like to show you today a demonstration of the Fluke 729 calibrating a Rosemount 3051 Heart Smart pressure transmitter. Let's give it a look. So we're all connected up here. I've got the milliamp measurement jacks in the 729 connected to the power terminals on the 3051. And I've got a pressure hose going from the output of the automatic pressure calibrator into the input of the Rosemount 3051. Make sure that I got a nice tight connection here. There we go. Now the first thing I want to do is vent the calibrated atmosphere, ensure I have a good zero, so zero it out. Next step, I can use the heart communication built in the 729 to identify the configuration of the device we're going to test. So let's start up heart, turn on loop power, and switch in the 250 ohm smart resistor to tune the loop. Here's the tag number, continue, reading transmitter data. The 729 is collecting the heart configuration from the 3051 to give us the information we need to do the calibration. So I have some options here. I can either look at the data, go in and do service, trimming, etc., or I can do a calibration, an ad hoc calibration, which I'll do now. So I've identified that this device is 0 to 150 kPa, measuring four, and will measure 4 to 20 milliamps. We're going to test the 0.2%. We're going to do a three-point up-down um, test, 0, 50, 100%, and then 50 and 0% of the range of the transmitter. And we're going to, the calibrator is going to settle for five seconds on each measurement step. So continue. So here we can see the current that's being measured and the pressure being applied, which is essentially the first test point since the uh, lower range value of the transmitter is um, 0 kPa. I select auto test, and the calibrator does the rest. Our first test point, 0 kPa, it'll be stable for 5 seconds, and then it'll jump to the next test point, which is 125 kPa. The calibrator will start pressuring up. You can hear the electric pump working. And that's the course adjustment to get the pressure applied to the transmitter within range of the fine adjustment. Now the fine adjustment occurs with a a, a group of uh, pulse width modulated um, air valves that essentially do the fine adjust tuning to adjust dial in the pressure that we want to apply. Stable for five seconds. Now we go to the full scale. Okay. We're stable at full scale for five seconds, and then we'll start the descending test. Next set point, we're going to drop down to 125 kPa. And then back to the starting point for the documented test. Here's the documented test result. The 729 automatically documents all calibrations it performs. Here's the set point, the actual pressure that was applied, the milliamps that was measured for each test point, and then the error percent of span. As you can see, each test point is well below the 0.2% test tolerance that we typed in um, for the test. So this transmitter has passed this calibration. <laughs>